Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to configure Telnet and SSH in Cisco devices like router and switch. Telnet is basically application layer protocol used for remote terminal connection. Same way SSH is also application layer protocol used for remote terminal connection. But SSH uses the dynamic key exchange and key encryption. In Telnet, all the data will flow as plain text, but SSH will encrypt the data, so SSH is secure than Telnet. In this demo, I am using one switch and two routers. First, I am going to Telnet my switch from router R1. To make any remote connection using Telnet and SSH, we need to configure IP address first. So first I'll go to switch CLI and I'll configure the IP address first. Enable. Go to global configuration mode. In the interface VLAN 1, I will configure the IP address. I'll configure IP address in 172.16.10.24 bit submit mask 255 255.255.0 and I'll view no shut command to enable the interface up. Now I'll go to router CLI. In the router, I have already configured the IP address, the same subnet of switch. Okay, uh, before make a telnet connection, we'll check the connectivity. This IP address of switch 172.16.10.10. We'll find pin first. Okay, now we have the connectivity between the router and switch. Now we will try Telnet. Telnet 10. Connection closed. It is password record. So what we have to do, we have to set up the password in switch. So I'll go to switch CLA again. Where we have to configure the password, we have to configure it in VTUA line configuration mode. So I go to line VTUA 0, 15. This includes all the lines, six, all the 16 lines ranging from 0 to 15. Below this line VTUA, I'll configure my password. Password, I'll use simple password. Cisco. And I'll do the optional command login. Okay. Now once again we'll tell it our switch from router or R1. Now it's asking for password. I'll do the configured password Cisco. Now it is working. I'll try to go to enable mode, but we did not set up enable password in switch. So we'll configure it in switch. Enable secret. That also I'll use same password Cisco for demo purpose. Now we can try from switch. I'll give you enable. This is asking password. I'll give Cisco. Uh, now I am able to telnet my switch from router R1. So what is the mandatory configuration we have to do for successful telnet connection? Here we will see it as summary. First step, we have to set up management IP address for remote connectivity. The next step, 
we have to configure VTU line password and the next step we have to configure enable password to enable the user to configure the switch finally telnet is not recommended because it uses plain text during communication between devices i'm going to use same topology here for your ssh connection in this i will ssh r router 2 from switch and router 1 okay i'll go to router because i will make all the ssh configurations in router 2 cli so i'll go to router 2 cli for any ssh connection for any remote connection we need to configure ip address first so i will configure ip address first the global configuration mode I'll configure the IP address in G0 slash 0 interface. Interface G0 slash 0. I'll use the same IP address of that 172.16. Router to soil use 2. Followed by subnet mask 24 bit subnet mask 255. Not zero. I give no shot. Next, we have to create, we have to generate RSA keys. For that, we need hostname and domain name. We need to configure hostname first. Hostname. I'll give hostname as router to R2. I'll give domain name, IP domain, hyphen name. I'll give the domain name as ccop.net. For demo purpose, I am using this name. Now we have to create the keys using this command. Crypto generate RSA. RSA. Here you can see the name of the key. It used our host name and domain name. Now it is asking for how many bits in the model is. It is asking for key length. A minimum 768 and minimum 768 bits we have to use. Uh, then only we can configure SSH version 2. So I'll use 1024 bits here. Here you can see SSH 1.98. So what it means, it enabled SSH version 1 and 2. Suppose if you want to host only SSH version 2, we will use this command. IP SSH version version 2. Now the VTY LAN will only use SSH version 2. Next, we have to create local username. So this SSH will use the username from the local database. For this, we need to use this command. It will be the username. Username. I will create two username. Admin one. And we will give privilege level 15 for full access. And I will give the password using secret. I will use Cisco as password here. And I will create one more username. Admin two, but I'll use the same password Cisco because I'm going to do SSH connection from switch and router one to our router R2. Next, we have to do some VTY line configurations. So I'll go to line VTY 0 to 4.
first I'll do the login. By default, it will use the login command, but uh, login command only will ask for password, but SSH connection need username. So we have to give this command login local so that it will get the username from local database. Next, transport input. This command will allow which protocol to be used. Like suppose if I want to use SSH, I will SSH here. Suppose if I want to use both Telnet and SSH, I can give like this, or I can give all. But here I am going to use only SSH. So I'll give transport input SSH. Now I have made all the configurations. I'll save this, save this now. Okay, let us try SSH connection from router one first. I'll go to router one CLI. First, we will check the connectivity between router one and router two. Where's the IP address? I'll ping router two. One side to 16 and dot two. It is successful. So I'll use SSH now. SSH, put question mark. We have some options here, but I'm going to use this option using username. So hyphen L. Our username is, I'll use the first, first user, admin one. And I'll give the IP address of order two, 172 .2. It will take time, some, some time. Is asking for password. I'll give the password Cisco. Here we can see it is directly entered to enable mode. Now I have made a successful SSH connection to router two from my router R1. The same way I will go to switch CLI. We'll do the SSH from here. SSH, I'll use the same command L, but here we'll use the username admin to the second admin and IP address. I'll use the router to IP address. Is connected. Is asking for password. I use Cisco. Yeah, it's connected. It reached to enable mode. So verify the current SSH connections. Use this command. Show SSH. Here you can see username admin one, and we have used username admin two. And we have made an inbound and outbound connections from both the users. Admin one we have used in router one, and admin two we have used from switch. Next, to verify the SSH version, use this command show IP SSH. Here you can see we have enabled version two. Finally, we will see the SSH configurations in summary. We can bring this under three steps. Step one, create RSA key pair using hostname, domain name, and crypto key generate RSA command. Don't forget to provide the key length greater than 768 bits to support SSH version two. Step two, configure SSH version two. By default, Cisco IOS will support both SSH versions 1 and 2. IP SSH version 2 command will force the VTY lines to allow SSH version 2 only. Step 3. Configure the VTY lines to accept SSH protocol only. By default, 
Telnet and SSH connections are allowed in Cisco IOS. By using transport input command, we can force the VTY lines to allow SSH or Telnet. So far we have seen how to remotely connect any Cisco devices using Telnet and SSH protocol. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.